This is the fourth episode of Museum Monday, where we dive into the history of the Eurovision Song Contest right from the ABBA Museum in Stockholm. Eurovision has boosted lots of careers over the years. For some of them, that one night changed everything. So how do former winners look back on the Eurovision experience? When that starts, it's like a national yeah. theme to me. Yeah, I'll stand, I stand up. <laughs> this step uh, from anonymity and into the spotlight might be a small small step for mankind but a giant step for me <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and uh, everything started there i think we have our winner and, and that is finland, finland. we were the wrong band in the wrong place at the right time Hard rock. whenever we hit the stage we own the stage that's 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 the state of mind that we have you can ask in the, in, the, in, the, in the mountains of Norway or in, in Sicily and show a picture of Lori and they would probably know the name but they, if, if they see us, they say, oh yeah, that man. It was another time, so 82 it was... Um not so huge in do, doing uh, um, lightning and everything. So um, it was just uh, c concentrated on, on the person and on the song. A little love, a little given to build a dream for the world. Why can't this moment last forevermore? The arena was huge. I mean, I've never seen a huge arena like that. The winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2012 is Sweden! What I really realized that I had won was when I was standing on, on, on stage uh, performing it throughout this, the first chorus. I realized that, wait a minute, I, I don't have to dance. You I don't have to dance. I can just stand here and embrace. I won. Though it hurts to go away. When we opened that show, uh, our song, we all ha had our backs to the audience, and Martin had to turn round and sing his lead. And I'm always so grateful that I didn't have to sing that lead. <laughs> Everything I do and when he turned round and he began singing, you know, though it hurts to go away, I remember thinking, go on, my son, that's great, you know, it's great. What's another year to someone who's lost everything that he owns? But I didn't think about winning the Eurovision. What I thought about doing was actually making the people proud of the job that I did. And the um, when I sang the song, what um, before the votes came in, Shay Healy said to me, well, you can't have sung it you know, better than you sung it now. And that made me happy. Then I knew I could go home, you know? I love you, Ireland. A year. What's another year? 